Hi, welcome back. We had a great week this weekend at uh, Iowa State for the Iowa State Classic. Several outstanding performances. Uh, couldn't be more pleased with the way we're progressing through the season. Uh, kids are competing very well, uh, putting up their very best performances in the biggest races. And uh, I think that, that bodes well for us as we move through the championship season now. Uh, certainly this weekend a highlight was John Davis, so an amazing performance he had in the 3000. Uh, he crushed the school record, uh, ran 749 uh, for 3000 meters. Uh, just an outstanding performance. Uh, really highlighted our team. Um, but we had several other performances that were really very high caliber. Dave Kinzira just every weekend continues to go out there and do his thing. Um, and I know that Dave hasn't quite run his best race yet, but his times are, are better than they've ever been. His, his uh, progressions throughout the season have been better than they were last year. So there's certainly a lot of optimism and hope for him um, as we move forward these next couple of weeks. Devin Quinn continues to be a force for us. Uh, he won another 200 event. I don't think he's been beaten in a 200 yet this year, um, but uh, he's, he's racked up quite a few wins. You know, with these guys that are at a higher level like Davis and Kinzira and Quinn, and you know, we have a few others too, that we're seeing the consistency of their performances, and, and we know that there's, there's still a peaking phase. There's still a regeneration and a peaking phase that will bring a bigger performance for them down the road. So uh, we're certainly very, very optimistic about that. Our whole sprint crew really is is running very well. Um, on the women's side, uh, Chi Nwoko continues to shine for us. Uh, she's doing a great job in the pole vault and has emerged as our top 400 runner. And I think uh, she's you know, put herself in position to be a, a real threat in the Big Ten, uh, in the 400 especially, but, but also in the pole vault. Sarah McKeeman continues to, to be very consistent. Um, quality performances every week. She, it seems like every week she's jumping at her personal best. Um, so again, seeing that consistency from our older experienced uh, athletes that, are, that have been there and done that, uh, we know that there's more to come. On the rookie side, you know, we've got to be really excited about, uh, you know, Rebecca Craddock continues to improve, um, but I don't want to lose sight of Allison McGrath, who, you know, is down the list a little bit, but what an amazing performance she had this weekend. She she dropped off about 20 seconds on her personal best in the 3,000. Just an amazing, amazing performance for her. And uh, Rebecca also, you know, I think she caught about 12 seconds from her PR, so great performance from her. And the field events, uh, Heiss and Diedzik and throws uh, continue to get it done. Diedzik again this week with another big performance. Uh, really pleased with him. He's in there fighting. Heiss is on his way back uh, to, to top form. I think he'll be ready to go for next week. Um, in the jumps, uh, big, big performance, probably the performance of the weekend, the breakthrough performance of the weekend. Ben Barnes in the triple jump, just an amazing performance for Ben, uh, huge personal best. Um, and again, now we wanna see some consistency out of him, but what a breakthrough for him. Um, also a big PR for Sade Hargrove uh, in the women's long jump. Uh, we've been seeing that. Uh, we see her ability, we know that she's capable and, and she's starting to learn and put some things together so we're really pleased with that. Also in the sprints, uh, Brianna Driver and uh, Amira Duma, both with big personal bests in the 60 meter dash. Uh, they're starting to run some times that are very competitive uh, on the Big Ten level and, and something that we can really you know, build around as we go outdoors, starting to put some of our relays together. Um, they'll both play a very big role in that. Finally, I don't want to forget one of our other seniors, Nicole Choquette. I can't say enough about Nicole, what she's meant to this program. She's a Big Ten champion. She's done amazing things as a walk-on to come in here. She, she's kind of one of those people that's always got a chip on her shoulder. She's always the underdog. Um, she doesn't, you know, elicit a response from people that are, you know, fearful of her performances, but she keeps going out there and doing it. And, and aside from what she's done in the classroom, what she's done on the track, she has been a glue for our program this year. It's just an amazing thing. I, I'd like to single out her and especially um, Dave Kinzira as well. Um, those two have done so much to try and bring this program together. Um, I'm indebted in gratitude to what they've done. It's just really been amazing to watch the leadership that they've, that they've taken on and what they've done uh, with their team. So uh, hats off to them. 
uh, this weekend we have a home meet. We have a giveaway this week. Here we go. This week's giveaway uh, is a camouflage stocking cap. Along with this, uh, we have a military theme this weekend. We want to support uh, our military, our men and women that give service to our country. Uh, we'll also be having a uh, ROTC 4x4 relay at the end of the meet uh, featuring uh, all three branches of the ROTC program here, Army, Navy, and Air Force. Uh, we like to get them out there and give them some exposure. Uh, you know, just a great program that we have here at the university. And then finally, I want to make sure that I mention for next week, everybody watch our hometown girl, Asia Evans, in the Olympics, Winter Olympics, Bob Sled. Asia will be going for a gold medal. Um, here we go, Asia. This is for you. Everybody watch Asia next Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, that's the 20th and the 21st of February in the Olympic Games of the Women's Bod Sled. Go Team USA.